I think that was unbelievably sweet. Oh! Ah, girls! Who's up for a group hurl? Hey! Down and shrinking! Program is rebooting. He should be his old self again. <laughs> Woo Good job, job Goddard. Right. Way to go. <gasps> Something's coming up on his screen. Calling Goddard. Can you hear me? Come in, boy. My readings indicate that your bio signs are back to normal. Hey, it's that kid. It's Neutron. But I thought that. Then you're not. Everything I know is a lie. Hey, what are you doing in Fairy World? Well, some lunatic sucked me into your computer simulation. What lunatic? <laughs> Finally, I'm in. I've made it to the legendary fairy world. <laughs> they said it didn't exist. They said I was crazy, and I am. Crazy like a guy who was right about fairy world. I think I'll take the VIP tour! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, welcome to Fairy World's VIP tour! Uh, excuse me, are you a human? <laughs> no, uh, I'm an imp! Would anyone but a imp wear a hat this stupid? <laughs> oh, it looks good on you, though! And welcome aboard! On with the tour! You brought Mr. Croc to the Fairy World? What kind of genius are you? You scrambled my dog's atoms and let a girl on my lap? What kind of genius are you? Back off, Neutron. Timmy here has already saved the day and saved your dog in half the time you would have. Look, I need you to... Oh, my God, I care about what you need. As long as my dog's okay, we're done. <laughs> That's the Fairy Academy, where fairies train to become fairy godparents. Fire! <laughs> That's okay, we're here to learn. And over there is the Fairy Armory, where we store every magical fairy weapon known to fairies. It's the only place in Fairy World that, in case of an emergency, has its own power supply. Any questions? I have a question. Let's say I was this human. If I somehow stole that magical weaponry, would I be able to say, oh, force the unconditional surrender of fairy world and demand that you may be king of all fairies? Oh, absolutely. Especially if you were evil enough to destroy the big one. That's what powers all our magic wands. If you took that out, we'd have to surrender. But since there's no chance of that, let's talk about the exciting world of crowns. Thank you for your very informative tour! Ah, the fairy armory! Just think of the fairy havoc I can wreak with these fairy weapons! Think! I mean, fairies! Crocker's gone! That means I'm stuck here? I gotta get that teleportation device and get out of here! Can this get any worse? If by worse you mean somebody's knocking over the big one, then yes! I am still powerful enough to defeat you with my special brand of fairy justice! Woof! 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 Bark! Bark! Woof! I will defeat you! After I defeat this evil stump of a tail! Oh, oh. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, he's cut off our supply of magic! That's right! I'm in charge here now! Get ready to make me a king! <laughs> I'm never going to get that teleportation pin. Now's my chance. Hey, what are you doing? Making an electromagnet. By wrapping this wire tightly around this metal crown and attaching it to this power source, I can create an electromagnetic coil! Electromagnetic valence bonding! 
Good luck with your new king! <laughs> Wait! Punchhead! You can't leave us! Cracker's gonna... Zap the memory? Wipe the C drive? So what? Your computer programs, you're not really real, right? Uh, if we weren't real, could I do this? Or this? Or could I do this? Cosmo! Wanda! Finally! Oh, Timmy! You have to stop him! He's gonna let Crocker wipe our C drive! Whatever that means! And I like to wipe my own stuff! How many times do I have to tell you, you aren't real? Yes! Yes, they are! They are real! What do you mean, real? They're holograms! All of this is a big computer game! Why do you care so much about them? <laughs> Goddard? Of course! Goddard! He's computerized, isn't he? Well, Cosmo and Wanda are as real to me as Goddard is to you! Look, I'm sorry I broke into your lab. I'm sorry I almost broke Goddard! What about the girl in my lab? I'm sorry about that, too. Hey! Play along, toots! Jimmy, you have to save Cosmo and Wanda. They're my best friends. You have to. See more. Oh, fiddlesticks! How could I miss that? I was aiming for his big thick head. Do something, Fudgehead! Do something, Fudgehead! Oh, they're really upset. Maybe these are more than just holograms. Uh, 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 that means if they disappear, they're gone for good. I can't let that happen. I've got to do something. But what? Come on, think. Think! Hey, Timmy, are you ready for the big science fair? Right <laughs> blast! You guys do what you can to stall Crocker. I'll be right back. I always knew you couldn't trust a fudge head! I need raw, uncompromised technology, and fast! <sighs> Silicone and test tubes. I missed that smell. Solar-powered laser, a fully equipped double wide, and presto! I take care of one little detail. Ah, the fairy capital building. It looks so beautiful and so not ruled by me. We'll have to fix that. Freeze, sucker. Hey, I should force them to make me their king. Maybe I'll have a court jester. I hope he tells jokes and not riddles. Jokes have punchlines. You better have punchlines! Well, okay. But only because you asked. You again. That thick head and robot suit might intimidate some other people, but you're still going down, and then I'm going to give you an F minus! No one gives Jimmy Neutron an F!
Goodbye, Timmy Kenny. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not Jimmy Turner! <laughs> Technically, he's not even Jimmy Neutron! Pay no attention to the fairies operating the fudge head suit! Fairy! Ordinarily, this would be a good thing, but... Turner! Where'd he go? Red to red, blue to blue! Dust to dust! Put that down, Turner. Now. Oh, I don't understand. Why isn't it powering up? <laughs> I knew it wasn't plugged in. All right there, Turner. Prepare for a smaller head. Move, Jimmy. Move! <laughs> But I do believe in virtual programming. Time to override your hard drive! I surrender! Enough! No! It is not enough! Get ready, tiny human, as I shred your memory to bits with my muscular canine teeth! And if you look to your left, you'll see a puny adult human male being shredded by a buff magical schnauzer and having his internal organs rearranged. <laughs> Jimmy, you did it! And not a hair out of place. Well, I couldn't let anything happen to my new virtual pals, could I? <laughs> Jimmy! Cindy? Neutron? Crab cakes! <laughs> I don't 